Hey guys, this is Ron Moore and I'm with Star Soldier. And as most of you know by now, uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper passed away. He was, I, I don't know all the details, I just know he passed away at age 61. I think of natural causes. He might have been found at his home, I'm not sure. But um, I, I, I heard, heard it was a cardiac arrest. Yeah, I did, I did hear that too, a heart attack. Um, and... I, I think I also heard, I read somewhere, someone had posted on Facebook that he was supposed to host a podcast today, I think. And the, his 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 guest, I don't know who it was, had tweeted saying, well, I'm not sure what's going on, but Piper did not show up. Uh, or Piper, Piper might have been a guest, I don't know, on some podcast, and they didn't show up, and then, then we find out and he passed away. I think TMZ might have broke the story. Then PW Insider had reported it. They said that TMZ was reporting it. And then about an hour later, WWE.com confirmed it. And, oh, uh, yeah, one month after Dusty Rhodes passed away, another childhood favorite of mine is gone. And, I mean, you know, too many of my childhood favorites are passing away. And I, I know that happens. You know, people die. But uh, as a wrestling fan, you, you know, me in particular, I, you know, Piper passed away today. Before that, Dusty Rhodes, the Warrior last year, Paul Bear before that, and, uh, I know there's other uh, wrestlers that passed away, but that was like during my childhood, which still uh, during my childhood, teenage years, that like passed away, like Brian Pillman, Kerry Von Erich. But as an adult, um, it, 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 seeing all these wrestlers passing away, you know, like, you know, it's another part of my childhood uh, gone. Well, not gone. You can still watch them and on on the network or YouTube or whatever, but. I talked to Venom22 today about that briefly, and he said, yeah, man, uh, you know, our childhood, you know, part of our childhood keeps dying because, you know, all these legendary wrestlers are gone, and that's, you know, a part of our childhood, and it's passing away with them because, I mean, you know, they really meant a lot to us uh, when we were kids and teenagers, and and also it, the whole thing is just sad in general because they have families, and, and uh, you know, it's... It's just tough, yeah, these, and these people entertain millions throughout the world. They made events at like stadiums. They were like huge names in their industry, and to see them go away at sometimes at like a young age, at sixty one, that's really not not that old. Yeah, Dusty Rose is sixty nine. Flair is yeah. sixty six right now, and I mean, um, and Hogan's like sixty one, and um, but a lot of wrestlers have died young. At least Piper made it to 60. I, I remember in his uh, Born to Controversy DVD, he said, let's face it, man, I'm not going to live to be 60. <laughs> well, he did, but yeah. uh, you know, he made it to 61. At least he made it to where he didn't think he was going to make it. He did battle cancer, I think, a while back, yeah. and he overcame it. And I think that was the reason why he had to drop the WWE. Have to take the championship with Flair is that, yeah, he is having some more health issues. Yeah. And so, yeah, man, it's real sad. And Roddy Piper, was as a kid, I didn't like him too much, really. But as I got older, <laughs> You're still I... You're him. <laughs> he was well, a yeah, great I mean, no, Yeah. Well, well no, I... I uh, I'm talking about when he was a good guy. I just still didn't like him. I thought, you know, being a kid, you have a diff different perspective... Um, yeah. as a kid, and when I was a kid, I mean, you know, I liked Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, uh, and I, I don't mean to be disrespectful to those guys, but they couldn't really wrestle, but it was the character that they portrayed that really drew me uh, into watching them and, and cheering for them, and um, I mean, and so those two, Macho Man, who could wrestle, uh, I loved him, you know, it, I mainly cheered for the good guys, a few bad guys I did cheer for, but and for some reason, I just did not like Roddy Piper. Uh, I I remember he was going to face Ravishing Rick Rude, and I was like, man, Rude's going to kill him. Because Rick Rude really was an awesome wrestler. And Piper, I wasn't really familiar with his 1985 you know, WrestleMania debut. or uh, He was not debut, but, you know, he was in the first main event of the first, uh, you know, the, uh, yeah, the first, first, first WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Yeah, and... So I never thought much of him, and now I would make fun of him. Look, he's wearing a dress. That's he's wearing a dress. Look at this guy. And my <laughs> friends are like, it's a, it's a kilt. 
I go, it's yeah, a dress. It's, Look it's, at it. What a sissy. <laughs> he's Scottish. But, yeah. Yeah. No, but, offense to, you know, no offense to Scottish people out there, of course. Yeah. And But I started to grow to like him, and uh, especially when he made uh, – it was funny when he made Brother Love come out in a big diaper and pacifier. That was freaking <laughs> hilarious. And and then he uh, – you see, he uh, – he had that match with Goldust, uh, the Hollywood backlot brawl with O.J. Simpson footage, yeah. and that was good stuff. And I started to really dig Piper. I said, "Man, this guy's legit." And you know, then I started. Then he went to WCW to feud with Hogan and the NWO, and that's when I really became like a fanboy of Piper, because I was so anti NWO at the time. I hated the NWO. I hated Hogan for turning his back on his fans and. And Piper came in, and he beat him in that match at Starcade 96. That was good stuff. And so as I got older, I started to really cheer for Piper and appreciate him more. And then I started to learn what kind of a legend he really is and how, how controversial he really was, how much he really meant to the business. And yeah, so, I remember way back in, like, the first WrestleMania, that was huge. The fact that he made a vent with Paul Orndorff, you know, to go up against Mr. T and Hulk Hogan. I yeah. Here is Mr. T, a huge Hollywood actor, breaking into the wrestling business, and Piper had like this cool story that he didn't want this Hollywood phony coming into our business, you know, wrecking it up, thinking he's a big shot, thinking he's going to out wrestle us professional wrestlers, and that's a good way to advertise a match. That's a way a good advertise a feud. It felt real. And yeah, there yeah. were some people bad stage that legitimately didn't like getting all this attention. So Piper yeah. was a voice of the people bad stage, like the wrestlers that weren't in the main event, so to speak. Yeah, he was the voice of the voiceless be- way before CM Punk. Mm-hmm. And he was I Rowdy mean, before it was cool. <laughs> yeah, before uh, Rowdy. Was and cool. yeah, yeah, he was definitely he. He wasn't like this big, you know, six foot seven, overly buff wrestler. No, he was just a brawler. He was six foot one, two hundred thirty pounds. You know, back then, you know, nothing too fancy, but man, could he cut a promo and man, could he fight? Yeah, and like just when you think you have all the answers, I change the question. <laughs> and. <laughs> His uh, WrestleMania eight match for Bret Hart for the Intercontinental Title. Um, yeah, very classic the promo, match. The promo he had, like they were standing there, me and Oakland was, was interviewing both of them. Piper goes, ah, he, he says something like, oh, you know, no Bret Hart since we were kids, <laughs> you know, I took over his house, and you know, and Mrs. Hart would fix us a bologna sandwich. <laughs> of course, she only put one piece of bologna in there, but ah, it doesn't matter. I was hungry. And then we would sh- tie our shoes, and, of course, his shoes are tied together. But, ah, we all got our problems. And, then, of course, he wasn't potty trained. He was seven. But, ah, it's okay. <laughs> and, and, you know, he, he was so funny. And he, one time he, he uh, talked bad about Vader saying, somebody should tell Vader <laughs> that that's not where the jock strap goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Piper was hilarious and great promo. And, of course, we remember the – Famous or infamous, however you want to look at it, coconut to the head, Jimmy Snuka. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he was one I also kind of uh, instigated Hogan to accept Andre the Giants Challenge and Piper's Pit. And Piper's Pit, those segments in Piper's Pit with Bruno San Martino, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Stone Cold at WrestleMania, what was it, 21. Piper <laughs> goes, Welcome to Piper's Pit and slapped the taste out of Stone Cold's mouth. And then Stone Cold <laughs> slapped him back, and that you know, was good stuff. And, yeah, man. Um, yeah, he, and of course. Go ahead. Yeah, he did an important thing. He didn't just show that the business uh, isn't all about wrestling. It's kind of promos. It's doing great interviews. It's getting people excited for a match. Yeah. You, know, you can yeah. have like all the wrestling ability in the world, but sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes you got to give that little bit extra and really sell what the people want you, <laughs> you know, yeah. what do you want people to buy and all that. 
And Piper was a great actor as well. I haven't seen all of his movies, but uh, the, my favorite one he was in was They Live. Oh, yeah, classic. And he walks into that bank with a shotgun and says, I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Bubblegum. <laughs> and the fight scene famous with him. Famous line and, stolen by Dude Nukem. Do what? A famous line stolen by Dude Nukem, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then the fight scene in that movie with him and, uh, I don't know the actor's name, the other, his partner in the movie, the epic fight scene that lasted a while and, and trying to make him put on the sunglasses. Put them on! <laughs> Fighting in that alley. And that was good stuff. And um, I remember his appearance in Walker, Texas Ranger as Cody the Crusader or something. That was a good episode of Roddy Piper. And... Yeah, man. I mean, uh, my friend Seth had met him and got his autograph. And yeah, man, Roddy Piper was just—he uh, was so awesome. I wish I would have met him. And yeah, man. I, I know there's many, many more things we can talk about Roddy Piper, but we don't have much time. And um, it, yeah, we just want to do this quick impromptu video about him. And man, because uh, we can go on for hours and hours about Piper. And now I'm going to start yeah. uh, going on the network, watching some videos of Piper. I'm sure there's going to be tribute videos soon. And um, also the Born to Controversy documentary, a DVD that came out, was it 2005 or six? I forgot. And he is also a 2005 Hall of Famer, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I know he's a Hall of Famer for sure, but I forgot what year. I'm sure it's 2005. Uh, and, yeah, man, uh, so obviously my heart goes out to his friends and family and, and of course, all, all of his fans and yeah, man, Roddy Piper, uh, definitely one of the greatest all, of all time. And PW Insider really credits him as being someone that um, helped start that website because of how Piper got them hooked onto wrestling. And uh, there's a tribute, there's a there's a post on him uh, about him on PW Insider right now. I did post it on Facebook, and they talked about how influ influential he was and how I mean, you know, with the, he. Uh, they got them hooked onto wrestling and yeah so i mean very sad that he's gone another wrestling legend another childhood favorite gone that's all i got to say on the subject uh you got anything else to say star soldier i'd just like to say rest in peace roddy roddy piper you're an amazing athlete i love your matches throughout the career had some promos just the great quintessential wrestler and you'll definitely be missed yeah like, definitely yeah definitely the total package when it you know not that sluter but <laughs> he was a total package Fun yeah to really watch. yeah just yeah amazing all around yeah yeah all in right and out ring. yeah all right so with that said, we're out of here. Again, rest in peace, Roddy Piper. Definitely one of the greatest of all time. And please post a comment sharing your memories or a video response for those of you who want to share your memories about Roddy Piper. And so, yeah, with that said, I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. And this is Star Soldier 1, baby. Oh, yeah. God bless. Take care. See you all later. <laughs>